Hi there, everybody. This is Patrick with SFMF Fishing, and I've got my Six Sense Premium subscription bag. As you can see, it is Marine Corps red. Wicked nice bag. Uh, I don't know what I'm going to use the bag for, but it will be for something very special. Maybe my favorite, favorite backup lures that I... Uh, I've purchased and and want to be able to get to them if the other ones go south so whatever I do with this bag it's gonna be something great this is an awesome bag this month is a great bag uh, I've been buying six cents lures and actually if I had a go-to bait, I am very brand loyal, and their baits are awesome. So, without going too much more into detail, let me start pulling them out. First, I have this bait already. This is like one of the very first baits I bought that came in this box. So, I'm going to give this particular one to a young man who is just about to go to college next year, and... He loves fishing and he really hasn't had the six cents lure experience yet and I've given him a few that have come out of bags or I've had doubles of or whatever and he's gonna I think he's gonna love this uh, I have one I'm gonna use it mainly for deep lakes up in like the Vermont and New Hampshire area for pike and um, I think between the rattle, listen to that, the deep thud thud rattle, and the size, I, I, I'm, I'm hoping, I can only guess, but I believe this could be a good pike bait. It is a Cloud 9 C25. It dives 18 to 26 feet. It is 1.9 ounces, almost two ounces. But look at this bad boy. It's, uh, it is, how, how long is this? This is, uh, this is like three and a half inches, maybe 4.1 inches. It is just a monster. That's why I think um, I'm gonna try using it for pike fishing, whatever he uses it for. That's up to him, but I know, being the bass fisherman he is, he's going to love this. And the rest is for me. Um, they, get, they sent, Six Cents now makes their own soft plastics, which I'm excited about. And anybody who knows me knows, I don't get excited about worms. But I'm definitely going to give these a try. They're a 7 inch. They're the Divine Shaky Worm. Eight in a package. Watermelon Scents is the color. And wait till you see these. If I can open the package. my trash over there I'll get it I promise and I don't worm fish I will try these I will definitely try there's something I like about this I, I, I don't know what it is and if you know me and worms I've already bad mouth worms because I'm not much of a wormer um, but this is awesome look at that good looking shape good size i like big i i'm a firm believer big baits catch big fish um very few exceptions like the ned rig the wiggle wart style lures but other than that you know big baits catch big fish and i am anxious to try this And I'm not going to waste the video time on putting this back in. I'll put this back in after. 
what we got coming up next is a crush 100 mm. it, it, it dives two to five feet five eighths ounce um it is a shad sense the only thing i don't like about this because of my area is the shad dot on it but other than that it's the fish around here really like purple for some reason and it's got that little yellow line going through it which i'm hoping because we do have fish that have have some of that coloring it's uh let's see here it's got the little light orange right there on the right there by the mouth by the bill and uh so hopefully you can see that it, so i will definitely hang on to this very few as as everybody knows uh, if there's a bait i won't i know i won't use or don't like or don't think it's right for my area i will go ahead and give it to my fellow veterans i i help manage a transition house for veterans so what i do is i get the three subscription boxes now three i get monster bass i get mystery tackle box and i get six cents very 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 few baits from six cents ever make it to their box uh it, 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 there's nothing against my fellow veterans if they came to me and i knew they knew how to fish i would let them use a six cents lure but as a general purpose anything just cast it type baits they may have i think they have two or three of them in their box and that's about it that's how much i love the six cents product if i'm looking to catch fish i'm i'm throwing six cents Next, we have a silent bait, and this is a baby crappy. And um, I'm not going to spend all my time taking things out of packages, so hopefully you'll be able to see it through the lens. But it's a silent 50, 50S, and I love silent baits. The silent baits are awesome. They they're a good compliment i've got this color in slightly larger but with with a rattle so i can go in tandem and this one dies two to five feet um, but i can go in tandem with that color now have one pole set up with the one with the rattle throw that and then once that's in throw the silent right behind it just just a one two and that way i can find out which colors are biting quicker instead of just playing with a bunch of different here there everywhere but i think it'll make a good tandem that color will catch their attention with the rattle and a silent one will catch them by surprise and get that reaction strike you see me wanting to reach down there's i this is more than just an unboxing of my um premium bag for the month i also have baits that i purchased and the, these are ones i purchased so these are colors and styles that i use and i want to show you that uh this I can't believe it. This is the Quake 70 Brown Eye. This is a lipless crankbait. These are awesome. Matter of fact, the Brown Eye color works well in my waters. And I actually purchased one, not knowing I'm going to get one in in my uh, in my premium bag. So I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I I may give the one from the bag to the veterans or save this unopened and keep it in the backups because I know fish hit this color around my area. And 
to complement those worms. Okay, this is unusual, I think, because this is no sample pack type of hooks. This is uh, a full five pack of hooks, five hot worming worm hooks. Okay, and there's a straight straight worm hooks. I'll pull one out. I have hooks that I have bought. From six cents, six cents now sells their own hooks, uh, and they don't they don't sell anybody else's brand. They sell just their brand. So here you go. This is a nice thick, heavy gauge, um, nice sharp, 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 sharp hook. It's a five hot, and that's a seven and a half inch worm. Perfect comp. Perfect complement to the two. So they they put the complement, they put the whole setup in the bag. The only thing they could have done differently was maybe put in some bullet weights because they do have their own bullet weights also. Uh, they have trailer hooks. They don't have any buzz baits or spinner baits yet, but give them time, I bet you they will. And that was it you get in the premium bag you get six baits and as a gift they gave us at least me i don't know about everybody else neener 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 uh <laughs> a six cents sticker this is going on the window in the camper so everybody can see as i'm out camping or driving down the road who i support So that's this month, December's premium six cents bag. And now we will get into what I bought. And what I bought is everything I used. Colors I use or colors I want to try. Um, that's how I find out what fish like. I'm, I'm not against trying different colors, but... I do know that shad is not a color that, or anything that resembles a shad that the fish I fish for around here uh, bite. So I don't, when I buy uh, retail, I buy exactly what I want to try and what I know the fish will bite or might bite. So. If you haven't gone to the Six Sense website, and by the way, I'm not sponsored by them. They don't call me and say, hey, try this. They don't do anything. <clears throat> Excuse me. They, I, so for me, this is all me. This is all my opinion. This is how much I like their gear. Um, this is a Crush 50X that dives two to five feet with a nice rattle in it. It's, I'll pull this out just to show you what the color looks like. But this is uh, the Black Magic, the series, okay? And I have a lot of lures from their Black Magic series that hits fish. Look at that. See that green eye? That green eye glows. It, at least it seems like it glows. The way they hit, it, it pokes out of the head. And the light hits it just right in the water. It's a, it, it is just a pleasure to watch it coming through the water. It, it's just awesome, and and this mimics so many different critters and whatnot. I I, I like to think it's it's mimicking bugs, giant bugs, water bugs, whatever. But the black, I don't know about other regions, but around here black dominates black in the color bone not white but bone so we have that we have this is a brand new line they came out with it's the Kerner, Kerner, the curve finesse swim bait and this one is the chrome thread fin okay i got the chrome thread fin 
just because I know the fish around here mm -hmm. and chrome is a color I think you could probably throw anywhere in the country and get a strike but this is a small bait I know it dives one to three feet though and so it'll look like a small bait fish or whatever it'll it'll catch small fish definitely if i catch a big one great i'm just thinking um you know when i fish unless it's competition fishing i just want to fish i just want to catch a fish and if this is anything like its brother the curve 55 i'm gonna like it the curve 55 it dives two to five feet. So this is a one to three. You can throw the slightly larger curve 55 and then follow it up with the the finesse and see what happens. That's what I'm going to do. And, and hope for the best, I guess. We have also, here's another new color they came out with. And I got this in the finesse. And this is called rayburn ghost it's a purple it's a violet purple um not a true violet but it's a purple with a dark top see that clear bottom and whoops and it is something i know will get hit here i've never used this color but i'm confident enough to try it and i'm i'm almost positive it'll get hit it, this actually, this might even be a good perch bait. Seriously. I think perch would probably go crazy over this. Then we have, let me pick up the bag again. All right. We have the quake thud 70. I'm not going to explain what the quake 70 is, a quake thud, a quake... Thud 80, you know, um, you can look at their website and find out all that um, because I got way too much and I I, I don't want to use up all the memory on my phone for crying out loud. Um, this is a brown eyed flash. This The brown eyed flash, the brown eyed anything works pretty good around where I live. Uh, this I can't wait to try as soon as uh, the ice starts uh, breaking up again. It's been wicked cold, as you all know, and ice hit hit sooner than expected this year, so at least in my area. So I can't wait to throw this. Then I have oops, the, the Crush Flat Ghost Pro. Um, I know this is against what I usually say. It's a shabbish color and everything else like that. But for some reason, the flat 75, the, the tightness of it, of being that flat bait, um, the fish aren't really paying attention to the color. It, they're, they're paying attention to the movement and the sound it's making. And the Crush Flat 75 is an awesome bait. It's flat right down the side. Um, it, everybody who fishes knows what a flat bait is. Um, this this will dive two to five feet again and um i actually had a pickerel rip one right off the braid and that's is, this is why i'm getting another one of these is because it was out of my comfort zone but i got hit so i'm not afraid to go out of my comfort zone and a pickerel just destroyed it and lo and behold needed a new one all right, I've got a Quake Thud 70. This is the Shad Burst, I like to call green top, uh, silver, silver bottom. It's, it's the dark top, silver bottom, that makes it a good lipless crankbait, I think. This will, this will definitely get hits. Definitely, definitely. And I have another Crush 75, um, flat, a flat 75X, and this is the one with the lip that, but this color, 
is a brown eye special. I, I, t I told you be before at the beginning of the video, the brown eye color, it works. It really does. I had, I had quite the best last year where I had the brown eyed 50 crush 50 X and and I got hit but I didn't set the hook properly so I I went straight to a gold reactor which is a little bit brighter than the brown eye um, this is in the heat of the summer too and and it was a uh, jerk bait the provoke and bam after one jerk that got hit and um so anyways uh hi guys hi guys yeah what's the matter you want to be part of my video what is it you want to be part of my video oh i'm sorry no, 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 no. <laughs> no you can't say hi <laughs> wait till you guys see all this new bait um Then I have the Cloud9 Magnum Black Magic again. And this is the second one because the other one's been hit so many times. I got a massive kick roll off of one of these, like a three footer. Um, and decent sized bass off of this. This is one of those I throw when the rattling black magics aren't working anymore. I throw the silent one in and that catches them by surprise. I'm telling you, if you guys don't throw silent baits, you need to throw silent baits. And two things I got, um, like I said, Six Sense now makes their own plastic. These are prawns. Let me open one up. Um, this is bluegill fire. The other one is black and blue, and um, can't go wrong with either one of those colors. So, this is the first time I've actually seen these in person. There's a, they're a decent size, they're 4.2 inches. Um, let me break that off, let's see what the movement is on these. Um, I like that, I, I like it a lot. Um, We'll see how it works when I throw it, and if they uh, start catching fish, then I'll buy more bags. But buy two bags, two different colors, try them out, see if you, see if they work, see if you like them. For the most part, they seem pretty darn good. Uh, they, they really seem like a tough, but very flex flexible plastic, and I like that. So again. These are what I bought retail, so I'm excited to go and try these. Then I have the C20 dive 16 to 22 feet, Cloud 9. Um, it's a rounder bill, it's not the square bill. The X and on six senses stuff are square bills. The clouds are a rounded bills, oval, whatever you want to call them. But this is a really good color. I've had success with this particular color with it in the C10. So if I do get it to a slightly deeper water, that's why I wanted this one. And getting down to the end of this bag. I have two packages, one of each color. I have um, the camo or green and black. They are one ounce jig heads, screw locks, and um, they're always good to have. And I plan on doing, we have a lot of weeded covered areas I'm going to really work this year. And last from that particular order is is a six cents divine swim jig and this will go straight to my swim jig box 
and um, I will have to trim up the skirt not by much but a little bit but check that out this is a about to tell you the color midnight magic and it's a 7 16 ounce and this will be nice I mean there if if you if you're somebody who likes a real soft easy to push swim jig um, skirt I mean oh break whatever you I'm having a brain fart but um this is this is what you want and all of six senses jigs all have the screw lock on them you can see that so your guard wicked soft the skirts come long so you can trim them to where you want them and they're they're just a quality quality bait i swear by these a lot of my my jigs are six cents jigs i do have a bunch from other from the other boxes that i do use and they do good too i mean let's face it jigs work uh regardless of who makes them but they work but the the craftsmanship is is awesome so the next the next bag we ha oh wait i missed one and this is to put in the backups this is the um, black light craw and this is a dark purple almost like a ultraviolet um, this is way different from the violet one you had seen earlier this I have one that's so banged up from when they first came out with it I bought it and now it's so banged up I've gotten hits from more than hits I've I've pulled in pickerel I've pulled in bass um giant crappies you name it um this is a fish machine this will catch you fish and like i said what i think they do is that that particular color that and the black ones they they mimic bugs is what they do so what i also have on the next order i got was a swank 77 um i'm not pulling any of these out of the boxes i'll show you the colors in the boxes but a swank 77 has got actually no i take that back i'm going to pull this one out because i want you to hear the rattle in this this is so unusual i mean i love the bass fish don't get me wrong but i love the fight of a good pickerel and pickerel can fight because they're feisty um but look at the color and this is a two to five foot dive and look at look at the crank bill on that and this is so erratic but what what i like the best and what gets the fish attention there are two rattles in this you have a high pitch rattle and a low pitch thud rattle listen to this it is awesome um the first time i threw one of these and it hit the water i caught a fish and then i knew i had to get more swank 77s and i did um go check them out on at six cents you can't go wrong um i may even when i go pike pike fishing bring some um some of these along because of that rattle is so unusual that may trigger that a pike strike then i have a crush 250 md and this is the custom bluegill for this particular size um you know this is a four to seven i mean 11 is seven to 11 um depth and, and people who don't know baits may say well, geez, you're buying a lot of baits that look the same. They really don't. The body styles, the weights, 
the bills, everything. They, they're, they're all different in one way, and that's what catches your fish on certain days. Hey, you Joe. Making video off. Oh, yeah. I'm making them one up. You can say hi if you want. <laughs> um, here is another flat 75X. This is a dark maroon brownish color. Um, it's a flat 75. I like the flat 75s, so that's why I bought it. And I'm not keen on a bright red, but I got the dark maroon. I want to try that, see if it's anything like the brown. So I'll give this a whirl. Then I have the Clown 9 C10. And this is the the um, good morning. And this is also the custom bluegill. So you see how the 250 in this, they both have different custom bluegills. But there's the 80X has a custom bluegill pattern just like this. And I catch lots of fish with the 80X like this. And this dives deeper. The ADX dives two to five feet. This dives eight to 12. So now I have this pattern to where I can fish the same bait style, but at a deeper, deeper depth. Then I have the Mad Dog 130. This is a 5.1 inch top water. And because I love the Black Magic, I believe in the Black Magic line so much, I had to get their um, top water. I can't wait to throw this. Uh, it, what can I say? It's a top water. It's two number one hooks on it. And again, I'm hoping. I, I, I don't know if this particular style of bait is good in the Black Magic, but. You know, you've got to come out of your comfort zone every now and then. And also, uh, in w one of the bags, because you spend so much, you get a you get a a rod sleeve. That's that a black rod sleeve. And with this box order, I got a black rod sleeve. And you know, you got to keep your equipment right. So. Um, neoprene, they're great. Uh, all of my other rod sleeves are six cents, so I got some more this time in red. Now, six cents, hear me out. I need yellow, okay? I need to go with the, I, I, I can put the blue and the gray and the camouflage and the blacks to the side if you had yellow. That way, I could have Marine Corps colors. You see, red, yellow. There you go. Um, I'll go quick. I know the time's running here. And this is an 80X, two to five feet. This is a shiner. And um, not much I can say. I mean, people throw shiners. So when people are using live shiners, I'll put a little bait scent on this and throw this puppy out and hopefully beat them out. This is a uh, spring bluegill. I love the detail and the colors. Um, this is just awesome. And I can't wait to throw this. This is also an 80X. And um, 